Forecasters are tracking Michael's path. Regina Miller is a meteorologist at AccuWeather, and she has the latest from their headquarters in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. Michael made landfall in the western panhandle of Florida as a powerful Category 4 hurricane and now as a Category 3 hurricane making its way across parts of Georgia where it's expected to diminish to a tropical storm during the early morning hours on Thursday, moving across the Carolinas that have already been greatly impacted by flooding from Florence. Some of the top wind gusts reported Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. We saw a 206 kilometer per hour wind gust reported there. Panama City's wind gust was 186 kilometers per hour. And we have projected power out outages here that are going to be regional as you head up through northern Georgia and then on into the Carolinas as well. And the storm surge has also been another significant problem. The storm surge right there in the western panhandle of Florida around Apalachicola has been a three to nearly five meters. So that is going to cause major storm surge flooding. Also with Michael's winds, we are still going to see some very strong gusty winds working their way across Georgia with this system. Some of the highest rainfall amounts that we could see with this storm are going to be about 20 to 30 centimeters.